Well, it's April, baby, and you know what that means. Yes, it is National Pecan Month, and I have the deepest respect for those delicioso Georgia pecans. But of course, it's Tartan Day. Tartan Day is held every April 6th and celebrates Scotland's independence with the signing of the Declaration of Our Broth on April 6th, 1320. But Tartan Day also celebrates the Scottish influence on North America. Common everyday things like the TV, telephone, movie camera, light bulb, and everything else was developed by Scots and Scottish Americans. Plus, if there was no Scotland, in turn there would be no Mike Kara, and you'd be watching Ricketts the Clown right now. Can't have that. Scotland has given us many famous individuals really making a difference in this world. So to commemorate Tartan Day, Mike Kara presents is putting on yet again another scotch tasting. This year with a twist, an Irish and Scottish beer tasting. Once again at Shanahan's Irish Food and Spirits in Woodridge, Illinois, Mike Kara presents was putting on a special scotch tasting and a new Scottish slash Irish beer tasting. Tony Fowler, superintendent of public works for the village of Woodridge and Scotch lover, put on this awesome, and I mean totally, totally awesome scotch tasting for Mike Kara Presents. Tony put a lot of time and effort into research and such for this project and words just cannot describe my appreciation to Tony for all of his hard work and effort toward this project. Also, thanks to John Whalen from Fifth Third Bank for all of his help with the scotch tasting and his running of the beer tasting. Both of you guys rock. And what you put on together with very short notice was awesome. This is going to make this very informal tonight. So I'm, I'm going to kind of share with you uh, the things that I've researched while we taste some of these scotches. And, uh, and we'll just kind of go from there and make it fun. Uh, mostly I'm really excited because we as people who drink scotch have an opportunity tonight to try some scotches that you probably wouldn't normally go out and spend the money to buy a bottle that you don't know what tastes like before you before you have one sitting on your shelf and find out that you spent 70 bucks or 50 bucks and and uh, and you don't like the scotch so you get a chance to taste it if you really like it then you know you can go out and buy it so I I have some some prices available for some of them uh, from the research that I did and and others probably the more common ones you probably know so that being said, uh, we're going to get started with tasting a few of these, but let me offer some suggestions for taste enjoyment. Uh, we put water out on everyone's table, so uh, it's, it'd probably be nice to be able to have a little water to sort of cleanse your palate between the scotches because you're going to find out they have some very different kind of flavors. Um, and also, you might want to be able, you might want to add a little bit of water to the scotch that you're tasting. And we're going to give you just a little tiny um, bit in a little shot glass, but we, there should be enough to, uh, you know, give you three or four sips out of it so that you can taste it and enjoy it a couple different ways. So it's not like uh, it's not like the college days where you're shooting this down. You just want to put a little bit in your mouth, kind of roll it around, taste it, get all the flavors out of it, uh, enjoy it, and decide if you want to if you want to uh, buy a whole glass full of that later on when you're sitting at the bar or buy a bottle for home. We're going to start out with a. A Dewar's, it's a pretty common scotch. Uh, a lot of a lot of bars have Dewar's in their um, in their bar, so it's it's uh, it's pretty readily available just about anywhere you go. This is a blended scotch, and uh, John's going to go around and put a little bit in everybody's glass. Um, when you once you get it, the first thing I want you to do is kind of smell it a little bit, so you can smell all the different flavors that are in there, um, and uh, then you'll you'll be able to kind of through your nose see what it's going to taste like uh, and you know I guess I guess I didn't talk a little bit about the aging process it has to be at least three years uh, aged in a, in a in an oak cask in Scotland to be called scotch most scotches are aged at least eight years there there aren't very many that are sold before they're at least eight years matured in a in, a, in an oak cask um, but some some folks think that the longer the that the uh, the scotch is uh, matured the better they taste 
Um, I think kind of the the jury's still out on that one because really scotch like wine like anything else that you like to drink it's your taste it's what you like you know it's uh, it's 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 the way you like to drink it and whatever flavor is good for you the next one we're gonna try here is the uh, McAllen 12 year old uh, it is a space side scotch it is the scotch that John and I drink whenever we come to Shanahan's because it's always here well you can tell I've uh, had a few of them here some of them are empty and one that is and I'm trying for the second time is Glen Kinchy very sweet uh, smooth and nice Glen Kinchy uh, I like the Glen Kinchy but I think the best one that I liked was a Dow Winnie uh, again a great flavor the Highland Scotch uh, smooth taste uh, nice finish and a good aroma to it but not as smoky as some of the other ones <laughs> Well, um, I haven't met a scotch yet that I didn't like. Um, my particular likes are more regional. I prefer the coastal scotches. I like the smoother taste of the sea rather than the uh, heavier peaty scotches myself personally. Uh, Del Winnie's a great one. I love that. Uh, Oban is another favorite of mine. Um, that's the kind of scotch I enjoy drinking. We're going to be tasting here. We're going to taste in a few beers, um, mostly Irish ales. Uh, we're going to be starting out first with the uh, Harp, um, and then secondly, we are going to be going to the uh, something that we've never tried before that I've never heard of is the Sam I Sam Adams um, Red Irish Ale. So um, let's just start out first, and we'll just go piece by piece on what we're doing here. But let's just start out first with the Harp, which is a um, an Irish ale, and uh, around St. Paddy's Day here, it's uh, pretty popular here at Shanahan's. Mike, we've tasted some great beers here tonight. Um, we started earlier tonight with the, uh, the scotch tasting, and right now we are going to do the only um, scotch beer that we actually have is the McEwen's uh, Scotch Ale uh, from Edinburgh, Scotland. And um, we're going to try that right now and see how we all like it. Again, thanks to Tony Fowler, John Whalen, and of course, Rich Moore and the staff of Shanahan's. Happy Tartan Day, everyone.